Taco. Rice with egg, fish, veg, and curry. Tapau, please. If this is you every day during lunchtime, this video is for you. When it comes to buying Thai fun, you don't think twice about those little styrofoam boxes. All that matters is enjoying your top out food in the comfort of the air-conditioned office. Unlike your Tinkat Tooting colleagues, you don't have to worry about washing up. Just throw on in. Styrofoam packaging is that easy, low-commitment relationship until plot twist. It turns out to be toxic for you. Just last year, the World Health Organization identified styrene as a probable human carcinogen. Guess what contains styrene? Polystyrene foam, which has been undercover all this while as your friendly neighbourhood styrofoam packaging. Every time the drink store auntie pours you a steaming cup of kopio kosong tapau, trace amounts of styrene is released into the beverage. At a high enough temperature, the styrene in the styrofoam will be activated, and with long-term consumption, the chemical could make you sick. We all have our super lazy days where we just want to be hermits at home. Sometimes, the only form of sustenance is cold soggy tapau leftovers from yesterday. We know what you're thinking. Just pop the food, styrofoam box and all, into the microwave. Am I right? Don't do it! Microwaving styrofoam boxes is a big no-no because under the intense heat, the styrofoam may melt. The higher the temperature, the more likely styrene will leach into your food and melted styrofoam is not kind on your good old tummy. It may cause you to vomit and feel nauseous. Major fast food delivery services in Singapore have stopped using styrofoam. It may keep your food from going cold, but hot oil and steam may trigger the release of the harmful chemical. You must be wondering then, why in the world are we still using styrofoam boxes so liberally? In 2016, Singapore almost declared a ban against styrofoam, but it fell through. The reason? Styrofoam is two to three times cheaper than plastic containers and coated paper boxes. The good news is that although styrene is toxic to humans, the small amount of chemical absorbed by your food is not enough to suddenly kill you. But still, it's better to be safe than sorry. If you're eating and drinking from styrofoam packaging every single day, you should probably rethink your lunch strategy. We've all heard the usual complaints against styrofoam. It hurts the Earth's ozone layer and sits in the landfill taking up space for 500 years. But who knew it can make humans sick too? With all this new information coming to light, maybe it's time to save that 20 cents and bring your own Tupperware instead.